This is Boxing Day in Northern Ireland. Uh, and today is the traditional day for hunting. So you, if you hear shotguns in the background, uh, don't misunderstand that. We've also got a storm brewing today. So again, I'm gonna have a bother controlling the background noise today. My objective is to give you a wee tour of uh, 6LXB with a forward sump pan. You'll notice this is the front of the engine and the pan where the, where the oil, bulk oil is stored is at the front rather than at the back near the flywheel. Now these were very often used in ERF trucks. In fact, they may have been introduced and designed specifically for ERF. I'm not too sure about them. Uh, you will occasionally find them in marinized engines um, where they don't have a particularly good name, but I intend to discuss that in a separate video. So what we're going to do now, we're going to pop quickly and just quickly refresh your memory on a conventional rear pan sump, and then we'll come back to this one. Here we have, again, 6LXB, very like the, the last one you've seen, uh, but the sump pan is at the rear of the engine next to the flywheel. This is the most common type. You'll notice that this tube here, I've, I've shown this to you before in other videos, this tube here simply sucks the oil in from that sump pan and the oil passes up through the crankcase and up through the engine. Now, the important thing is it has this, what's known as a scavenger, a scavenger small, a small scavenger sump at the front here. And this pipe here sucks oil from that scavenger up into the oil pipe, into the oil pump, and it just spills back into the sump then. This little device here simply stops that oil from the scavenger's pipe spraying onto the end of the, uh, the scroll bearing and encouraging oil to escape. So that just deflects it down the way. So that's it, that's the conventional, conventional setup. This pipe here is for feeding the main journals on the, crank, on the crankshaft. So we go back now to the forward sump, we will pop the sump off and I'll take you through the pipe work there. We've taken the sump off back at this first engine again. The first thing you'll notice is this is the main feed pipe here. The oil pump has to be located here, it can't be anywhere else, although you'd have a major redesign of the engine. So they were stuck with that. They had to put the oil pump there and they had to suck up this pipe here. Notice how thick the pipe is compared to the other one. The other one is, is uh, well, three quarters the diameter of that one. So the main sump pan is here. The pump sucks the main volume of oil up through this large pipe here. Again, up through the crankcase and into the engine. Uh, the pipe that's feeding the mains is here. It's the same as it was before. This pipe here, this little thin pipe here, is uh, a scavenger, a scavenger pipe back to the pump as before. The pump is quite different. And this is uh, the, the, uh, the pickup for the scavenger here in this one. If you take a look here at the sump itself, you'll see, well, the first thing you'll notice is that the sump pan is a lot bigger. It's a lot bigger on a front pan sump than it is on a conventional rear pan. And the scavenger sump is also a lot bigger. This particular sump is in very good condition. Uh, now, normally I would be tempted to change this to a rear pan uh, arrangement, but there's quite a bit of work in it. And somebody someday may be needing one for, uh, maybe needing an engine for an ERF truck. So I think I'll just keep it front pan for the minute and we'll fire up over the next day or two, possibly even today, and see how she runs. This engine has only come in. So I hope that's of interest to you. I just wanted to show you the quite dramatic differences between a front pan and a rear pan sump. Thank you so much.